You're watching IHS TV, Channel 11. This is Kaleidoscope News This Morning. Good morning, Interboro High School. This is Dominique. And Jess. With the announcements for Friday, September 19, 2014. Free lemonade, Monday, September 22nd, after school in the high school lobby. Please stop by for a cup of ice cold, delicious lemonade and make a donation for Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation. Help us raise money and find a cure for a childhood cancer. The French Club will meet on Tuesday, September 23rd at 2.30 p.m. in room 230. We will be electing officers. Come and join us for a fun and ent entertaining year. Nachos will be served. For more information, see Madame Wallace. Attention returning Key Club members. If you are interested in being an officer for Key Club this year, pick up a form outside of room 226 and return it to Mrs. Vasquez no later than today. The first meeting will be on Thursday, September 25th, and voting will take place at the time. See Mrs. Vasquez for more information. Now over to the weather. Good morning, this is Matt with today's weather. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 72. Tonight's low will be 58. The current temperature is 58. The humidity is at 72% and the barometric pressure is steady at 30.23. Now over to the birthdays. This is Maria. And Karina. With the birthdays. The birthdays for today are Wyatt McDevitt and Matt Shaw. Tomorrow's birthdays are Dina Provetti, Christina Valeria, Sundays are Lauren Bannon, Josh Hake, and Rebecca Stevens. Happy birthday. Now over to today's headline. This is Nicole with today's headline. Scottish voters have rejected independence and decided that Scotland will remain part of the United Kingdom. Now back to the news desk. This is Evan. And Josh. With the sports. Yesterday, the field hockey team took on Academy Park and won 4-0. Roe Murphy, Julie Dunleavy, and Steph McCool all contributed goals towards the victory. Today, volleyball will play at Chester at 345, dismissals at 215. The field hockey team will take on Springside Academy at 345, home. Girls soccer plays Phoenixville at 4 o'clock, away, dismissals at 145. The football team takes on Penn Charter tonight at the South Ave Sports Complex at 730. Come out and support. Tomorrow, the volleyball JV team will play a play day at Ridley. The boys soccer game tomorrow against Ohio has been canceled, but will be rescheduled. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GoBuckSports. Now back to the news desk. This is Dominique. And Jess. With some additional announcements. Here are some colleges and universities that will be holding open houses this weekend. Saturday, Quinnipiac University Open House. California University of Pennsylvania Fall Discovery Day. Roanoke College in Virginia Fall Visit Day. Sunday, Dartmouth Presentation, 2 p.m. Friends Central School, Wynwood. Here are some colleges and universities that will be visiting the Career Center over the next few weeks. September 25th, Indiana University of Pennsylvania at 10 o'clock. Dean Madeline during all lunches. September 29th, Goldie Beacom College at Delaware at 9.30. September 30th, Wesley College in Delaware at 9 o'clock. Your College at 11. Rowan University at 12.45. The College and Career Center is located on the first floor on the large parking lot side of the building. Please see Mrs. Lenza for a pass to visit the College and Career Center. Now over to the menu. This is Tyler. And Corinne. What the menu say. Today we'll have grilled cheese. Monday we'll have cheese steak. Now over to the vocab word. This is Tyler with the vocab word. Today's word is hegemony, a noun meaning a dominant influence or authority of, over others. For example, consumers welcome the diversification of the software market as smaller innovations challenge the hegemony of the large companies. Now over to the quote of the day. This is C. Brady with the quote of the day. Richard Nixon once said, It is necessary for me to establish a winner image. Therefore, I have to beat somebody. Not over to this day in history. This is Jeff with this day in history. On this date, 1947, the U.S. Air Force was formed. Now over to the news desk. <laughs> 